Hey gang, welcome back. We are now going to move into the next part of this series, Stonewall and the Fourth Reich. Enjoy. In contemporary usage, the Reich typically refers to the Third Reich. You know, today, you know, we're talking about the Third Reich and specifically the period of Nazi rule in Germany. Fourth Reich, and this show actually talked about it, that Hitler planned on a Fourth Reich. And I'm, I'm convinced, I'm not a conspiracy theorist, I do know that there's you know things in history beyond history, um, but I am convinced that Hitler got away. And this show has convinced me of that. Um, the Soviets have admitted, you know, in the bunker, history says, Eva Braun took cyanide. And there's conflicting reports that Hitler did both cyanide and the gunshot, or just the gunshot. I don't think Hitler was strong enough to shoot himself in the head, one. But if he did, let's say that's all true. Let's say that he, he shot himself in the head, the bodies were brought outside, as history says. They were put into a shallow grave and, and cremated, as history says. And the Soviets got there and botched the crime scene, as history says. The Soviets admitted, when they presented what was left of the head two teams later in history, this is the head. Okay. Genetic tests have proven... 100% that the head of Adolf Hitler, bullet wound and all, is a woman. Now, where did he go? And this show suggests South America. And that he wasn't finished. And this was going to be what he called and what we're today calling the possibility in existence of the Fourth Reich. Do it on your own. Take a look at it. Um, Ron DeSantis has police officers that he's bringing in to staff police departments throughout Florida, most of which happen to be around Orlando. What is in the center of Orlando? Disney, the mouse that kicked his ass. But DeSantis, DeSantos, has brought in police officers who lost their job or, or wanted to relocate to be police officers in Florida, all with violent tendencies and, and, and proven violent. Some are actually already felons. I don't even know how you can still be a police officer, but they are. And he's banned books, like literally, he's banned books. He's banned books. He's, he's banned, you know, he's going after the arts. This is all stuff that the Third Reich has already done. Everything, like checklist. I don't understand why Americans aren't afraid of this. And I don't mean like afraid, oh, we need to, you know, toe the line and get in line with, uh, why can, how can you support this guy? Or, or rump, T-rump. He's not just as old as Biden is and fatter. It's an excuse. Look, Biden isn't my first choice either. It wasn't. I like Mayor Pete. I still say he's going to be, he's not going to be our first gay president. We already had two. There, I said it. But, uh, and I'm not even going to get into that yet. But... I think he's going to do just fine. And I think the guy has, has a future. Um, Trump, Biden, the Santos don't. And, and I encourage you, I don't, I'm not telling you not to vote for DeSantis. I'm telling you to do your homework. That's why we're up the middle. Because there are things from the right that I do appreciate and do like. I've got guns read the Bible, unlike some of these asshats, I've actually read the Bible. But I also support, you know, things that the left stands for. 
You know, like, I think I should have the right to be just as miserable as my parents. Marriage joke. All right, gang. Uh, we want to thank our sponsor, Aromas by Pete, or Aroma by Pete, although he's got plenty of aromas. Um, we are burning salted caramel. As we've always been. This is this one's going strong. I don't need to change the scent. You know, this one has been here since he's been a sponsor of the show. And thanks to Pete for that. Uh, I almost burnt my table down lighting the candle before. I dropped them. I dropped a lit match, and the thing kept on burning. And now there's a burn mark on my nice desk. Uh, so yeah, I want to thank uh, Aroma by Pete. Um, I want to thank Streamyard. We're powered by Streamyard. Uh, if you're getting in the podcasting, first of all, check out one of the two channels that you could be watching this on. That's Talk TV 24. We've got an entire playlist on how to set up your own studio and what you really need, what you don't necessarily have to have, but it would be nice to have, so on and so forth. And then other videos, not just our channel, but other channels that help you uh, steer yourself towards uh, getting into podcasting and getting into video podcasting. Uh, but I, I cannot recommend StreamYard enough. Um, these guys are amazing. Uh and, and their customer service is second to none as well. Um, yeah, I love what they do. Uh, that's why you're hearing us today. That's why you're seeing us today on all the different channels. And uh, that's why you'll see us again on Friday. Every Friday at Doggy Traders, uh, anywhere you want to be at Doggy Traders. Um, this The same social media we talked about from before. Uh, we talk about day trading, crypto investing, and now we're adding real estate. That's going to be Friday show. That is not podcasted. Um, podcast folks, you'll have to go to YouTube or Facebook or LinkedIn to find that. Uh, we just don't have that on a podcast right now. Um, I just don't have the fan base that I've already developed with up the middle and also some of the potential guests we got coming on, which I'm going to keep kind of close to the vest for a little while. Some other updates. I can actually say it. Um, I'm not going to though because it, it's not definite and you know um yeah i'm just not but we are in talks with a major u.s newspaper to be carried for this show to be carried by them as well and that's why you know i'm going you know balls to the wall with you know the the podcasting with social media and now we're even starting some advertising um yeah it, it's development of a brand uh, and we'll see how that goes and, and what they can do for us as well. We're still in talks, and I, I think that might supposed to be this weekend, but I just don't know if I'm going to make it. We'll, we'll see. Uh, but we're still in talks with developing this for television. Um, these TV platforms that you see on the screen now, Apple TV, Android TV, their operating systems, Roku and Fire, potentially putting them into it as well. I mean, I've got to be accessible. I've got to be findable. And that and the radio, the radio distribution just don't seem to be what they said they were. And the TV folks are going to get, you know, their opportunity. I think it's this weekend. I got to drive out to Orlando and meet with them and I'm going to get a demo and we're going to see how it goes. But I've got to be able to be found by stupid people like me and DeSantis followers. And if they can't do that, then then I'm not going to waste money on it. That's that's, that's not that hard. Uh, and then the radio, I like the they they'd say about 150 different channels. There are 150 channels that nobody knows about. It, it's you got to be a geek to really you know know the access to this and and to be able to. And, and I just don't get it. Um, so we'll see. We'll get them a demo too and and let them do their thing and maybe we will. We'll see. But I'm really liking the podcasting. I'll tell you what, Spotify and iHeart, uh, I said it already about um StreamYard, but Spotify and iHeart have some customer service that just kicks ass. I couldn't find the podcast on iHeart. And that worried me like Everything else is saying it's there. You know, is it something I'm going to have to do manually myself, which is fine. I just need to know about it. No, nope. we found it. You're good. Here it is. Search this. See if you find it. And first thing I came up, you know, and, and I think what happened was when I tried to look for it, 
I had just uploaded. I just created the first account. My primary account for the spot the, uh, for the um, podcasting is on Spotify. And by using Spotify, I can distribute my show to those other networks that I mentioned. Uh, some I do think I'm, I think like maybe on Castbox uh, and maybe Radio Public. I may have to just check in and make sure that they're still getting because those are those are some of the audio only types, and I think Google might be audio only. But I'll check in all of those. I'll do like you know audits and just make sure that they're getting all of the episodes um, through the distribution. These while well, social media has directory or the social media has platforms podcasting different pl platforms and podcast are actually called directories. And I'll make sure that each of these directories are getting what's called an RSS feed. That is what Spotify created for me uniquely. And I share that feed with those other platforms or those other directories when I set up you know, my account on those directories and we go from there. And uh, so we'll see. Uh, we'll, we'll do a, like a, every two weeks, we'll do an audit and make sure that you folks are getting everything. Cause obviously something like this is kind of timely. Although I think this podcast is going to, you know, this particular episode is going to launch, you know, when, when people start searching words like fourth Reich and, and the Santos and the Santos and the Hitler and all the other names he's been called, uh, to Satan, you know, and so on. Uh, yeah. So hopefully we'll grow. Speaking of which, share, comment. You know, we want to thank Bob for his comment on some of the others we didn't get to today. I love the logo. I love the album cover up the middle. As you look at that, the microphone and the arrow on the left are blue, like the Democrats. The microphone and the arrow on the right are red, or the microphone, and the, the, there's blue and red in the tint. Uh, and then the two colors together make purple, which is the lettering uh, up the middle. And the American flag, I put that there because we're taking it back. We are taking back the flag for actual patriots for both sides. You know, conservatives can still be proud to wave the American flag, as can liberals, as can free thinking independents like me. But these extremists that think they're patriots, you're wrong. You're traitors. You need to learn that. That's it, gang. Uh, I'm rambling long enough. And, um, we will see you next week. Probably see you before that. We'll get like uh, an update or something with like all of the, the, the de Satan fun uh, that we've had. Um, but uh, yeah, until then uh, keep talking and we'll see you again.